Starter motors look something like this, and we find them in combustion engine vehicles. This is a relatively small but very powerful electric motor, which converts the electrical energy of the battery into mechanical energy. Have you ever started a car when the battery was dead? Or do you have any tips for diagnosing a faulty starter motor? Let me know in the comment section down below. So, to start a car engine, we need to start the combustion process. We do that by moving the pistons. The pistons are connected to the crankshaft. In early cars, we would basically connect a handle to the crankshaft and turn it by hand. This isn't convenient and it's also a bit dangerous. On modern engines, we find a flywheel connected at the rear, which has a number of teeth around its perimeter. The starter motor is placed in close proximity to this, and when we start the car, it temporarily connects to the flywheel and forces it to rotate. This turns the crankshaft, which moves the pistons and starts the combustion process. The starter motor then disconnects from the flywheel and the engine continues to run. As the pinion gear is very small in relation to the flywheel, it must rotate at a fairly high speed. It also requires a high torque to rotate the crankshaft. The starter motor therefore draws a very large current from the battery when it starts. So, once the engine is running, the alternator generates electricity and recharges the battery. We have covered how the alternator works in detail previously. Do check that out, I'll leave a link for you in the video description down below. Check out these videos to continue learning about automotive engineering and I'll catch you there for the next lesson. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn and theengineeringmindset.com.